The cloth is useless, at least right now. Nice and warm, and I didn't burn my hands, Milius. I knew you could do it. We are still waiting for the Cantor. The rest of the brothers will be here in time. There, I heard it. <gasps> I fear the crypt has been locked. Then get the key. Brother Cuthbert should have it. <coughs> Was again. No, 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 no. I heard it. I'm sure. There was something. He's right. Now stop it. Concentrate. There it was again. <gasps> the novice said he hid the keys in here. They're here. I have them. What was that? No talking. Now we see. This brother Marcus really did Are steal sure Cuthbert's so? keys. Yes, I'm sure. It was nothing. Calm down and concentrate. Let's see what we can find. No reason to be afraid. Nothing here. The saint rests in peace. These old cathedrals are bound to make strange sounds. Thought so. Nothing here. Even if it is Adolphus, we would have to welcome him. Nothing. Hello? No. No one. Not a thing. Hello? Is that? What is that? It's the size of a child. Hello? No! Oh. oh. An owl. Just an owl. The choir will be relieved to know that. I should tell them. The brothers did hear something after all. I think I heard it again. There is no need to worry, brothers. Adolphus is resting in peace. It was just an owl. 
I, I told you it was nothing. God bless you, Brother Philip. I knew I heard something. Now, be silent, concentrate, and... Philip, have you found something yet? Not yet. I will see what I can do. The choir has finished singing. The cantor should find time now. Are you ready for the chapter meeting, Brother Philip? If you have any other business to take care of in Kingsbridge, do it now. The meeting could take a long time. The chapter meeting is more important. And this is why Prior James's wish must not be honored. Kingsbridge Priory would be beyond saving without financial records. I think we have all understood the reason for your concern, Brother Philip. But before we come to a decision, let us hear other voices of concern. I would like to know why you would doubt the wisdom in Prior James's decision. Maybe you didn't know him as well as we did, Philip. I can say I knew him well. We all here knew him. I knew him well, and I know he would agree with me. Philip, you are going too far. I will tell the bishop about this. Brothers, oh, let him speak. Brothers, please. Let's hear what oh, he has to say. Let Philip speak. Oh, heaven. Hear him out, brothers. I was stubborn as well, but he made me see it. Well, that's not an easy thing to do. There he is. I owe James much. He was the one who asked me to take care of St. John in the forest. One of the most prosperous cells in all of Shiring, if not England. It was a wise decision, then. But his last wish was not. Well, was it? What are you waiting for? Answer me! Is walking on thin ice wise? <gasps> Who does he think he is? May the Lord forgive him. He knows not what he is saying. No. I have taken offense to Philip's words myself today. Sometimes, Brother Philip ought to temper his words, but there is always truth in them. Yes, Philip asked us a question. Was it wise to walk out onto the ice? God was testing, Prior James. I say the devil chased him. Do you doubt that? Do you doubt that, Philip? Surely you must have an answer. If the Lord tested James, then he is testing all of us. I trust the Lord, so did James, and so should all of you. He was misguided when he walked onto the ice that night, as he was misguided in his last wish, whatever or whoever misguided him. Prior James will face judgment. It is between him and God. The novices would be better advised not to speak up. Philip is a good man. He was the only one to say I should have a fire. But did he do anything besides talk? No. So he did nothing to soothe your pain. He had only warm words. 
Very well, Philip. But why don't you tell us the real reason you have come before us? You not only came to save these books, you have another motivation, do you not? My brother is... Yes, I reminded my brother that Kingsbridge can use help. Look around you. This priory is in a sorry state. Please vote to save the prior's documents from the fire. It's the only way to help this priory. I say we leave the decision not up to a vote, but to Remedius. That is against the rules. Is it? He will be our new prior in a few days. Cuthbert declined, do you not remember? I remember well. And I say no one in Kingsbridge is better suited for prior than Remedius. <clears throat> Well, fortunately, no. Well, that's true. Here, here. I wonder why Cuthbert declined. Surely not. That said, there is someone not from our priory. Someone better suited. I nominate Philip of Gwyneth to be the new prior of Kingsbridge. Oh, I can't agree with that. That's well, yes, why obviously. you're here. Yeah, choice. Excellent choice. No. What about Remedius? Uh, I, that's surprising. Great Try idea. Philip. <laughs> Brother Philip, do you accept the nomination? Thank you for your kind offer. But we would not want to impose on you, Brother Remedius. Oh, but, but I insist. I will help you. No, you really must not. We will see you later. Thank you. We don't have much time. Evening Mass will begin soon. Should I not have accepted the nomination? You've never been good at saying no. And Milius is right. Kingsbridge needs you. What about St. John's? I will ride there tomorrow. I will let them know you will be staying in Kingsbridge for a few days. Thanks to you, these documents and books will not be burned. Now, we have to find that letter. You truly think the letter can help prevent a war? If the message says what I think it says, then yes, I do. Now, let us look for the letter. Francis, I think I found it. In the Bible? Revelations, the Apocalypse of St. John. And they called to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him who is seated on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, and who can stand? The Lamb? What was James afraid of? Was it this letter? No, the letter is still sealed. Break the seal. Oh, this is it. You found it. The Earl of Shiring is about to start a war. Yes. He's made contact with my own master, Earl Robert of Gloucester. Who is this King Stephen that has taken the throne? A nephew of King Henry. Do you ever think of the day our parents died? Francis, you know I don't like to talk of that. I know. 
It's just that I think of them all the time. And I've always blamed King Henry. The church suffered under his rule as much as we did in Wales. Philip, you have to show this letter to the Bishop of Kingsbridge. The Bishop of Kingsbridge? Why? Our late King Henry was opposed to Rome's influence in England. King Stephen, on the other hand, swore to preserve the rights and privileges of the church, and we can help him if you tell the bishop to protect Stephen. You are conspiring against your own lord, Earl Robert. I want a king who supports the church. I want these dark times to end. I want to stop the Earl of Shiring from starting a war. He could set the whole of England on fire. My lord, the Earl of Gloucester, can never know what I was doing here. You must not tell the truth about how or where you got this letter. Don't tell anyone I was involved. Do you really think the bishop will help? Tell him you found the letter by coincidence. And if he does not believe me, what then? He will believe you. The question is, will he really try to stop the Earl of Shiring? I will write to St. John's and tell your monks you will stay in Kingsbridge until the election. What if the Earl of Shiring finds out what I'm doing? What if the bishop tells him? Philip, calm down. He is your bishop. I'm a simple monk. Who am I to talk to a bishop? 